Welcome. This is the AIO 25 Harvester layout for Forex. We're watching three products of Forex, the Euro USD, the, the British Pound USD, and the USD Swiss Franc. And let me describe to you the layout. We basically trade off of two charts per product we have a lot chart and a VLOT chart. Um, the VLOT chart is a range chart of um, three ticks before the next bar, horizontal HL bar, gets drawn. And here on the lot chart, we're trading off of the 500 tick charts. Now, let me describe to you what the lines are. The thick yellow line here in the U dot is the price action. That's the price action. The gr light green and light red lines, or pinkish lines, that's the danger zone of the V lot. Danger zone from the very low order time frame. And this danger zone that's around the black and white. Down here, on the lot chart is your MACD. The MACD is very, very important because it tells us how the market dances. The thick blue line, that's the MACD difference or the delta. The yellow line is the MACD line itself, the yellow dash. The black and white dash is the moving average of the MACD. And for all of our products, we're using a MACD setting of length, fast moving length, 6, slow moving length, 12, and moving average length of 6. So 6, 12, 6. Now, why is the MACD very important? The MACD is very important for the basic because of the basic fact. It allows us to know how the market is dancing. If you look at the MACD and the dash black and white, the dash black and white pretty much tells us what the cycle of the market is. When the dash black and white goes above the zero, an up cycle has begun. And as you can see here, the dash black and white created the primary peak and then a secondary peak and a tertiary peak. Now, for us being newbies, we only take what I call the sprint, the initial takeoff through the zero crossing. And we do not play the contractions when the lines go towards the zero, nor do we play the expansions when the lines bounce off the zero. So we only take the initial sprint as the primary peak in this example gets created. So this would have been a perfect place to go take, a, take profit beginning at 1048 because the blue MACD breaks through the danger zone with the, pro with the yellow dash. And you know that the up cycle had begun because the yellow dash is above the black white dash down here below the zero so the up cycle had begun but we cannot take a position until the blue MACD breaks out of the danger zone now on the VLOT we use the VLOT for confirmation and timing of our trade of getting into a position so let me just move these things here Okay, we don't really need him there, but that's all right. Okay, uh, we still don't have the correct one. Let me move this further back. So we have the, the right time scales down here. Okay. So, once again, we don't take a position until the blue MACD crosses above the danger zone and the yellow dash and the black and white dash are with you. Especially the yellow dash needs to cross through the zero before we go take a position. 
we confirm our timing on the VLOT. On the VLOT, the price action has already gone outside of the VLOT danger zone. Uh, the danger zone is this dash line around the black and white solid. And once it's already outside of the VLOT danger zone, the price action, make sure that the blue MACD on the VLOT is above the zero here for the long. And the blue MACD on the VLOT is above the zero for the long. Yeah, go ahead and take a position. If you find that the blue MACD is a down color and going against you, by all means, don't enter. You have to wait until the blue MACD goes above the zero for a long and is also with you. Now, what is our exit? Generally, our exit is when blue MACD on the lot crosses through the dashed black and white. We exit. And that's the end of the sprint that we're supposed to take. And from then on, we just stay out until the next cycle begins. And essentially, what is our cycle definition? Our cycle is the zero crossings of the uh, blue MACD up here on the lot with the yellow dash. So here, as we're closing, we're closer to now, the yellow dash is already through the zero, the blue MACD preceding it, and the new down cycle may have already begun, but we cannot do anything. Why? Because the blue MACD on the lot chart here is just going sideways in the danger zone. So just stay out of this. It's not worth taking a short. Not at this time. Not at this time. Because if the blue MACD goes above the zero, eh, you're just going to be um, caught in sideways of the market. So what needs to happen? What needs to happen is the black and white dash needs to create a primary valley. And it may not have created the primary valley yet because this may not be that primary valley. It will still go down. If it still continues down, then by all means, uh, take a position when the blue MACD has a down color and you get confirmation by the price action being outside the danger zone and the blue MACD of the VLOT also going outside the danger zone. I mean, uh, going below the zero. So right now, as we hit R1, uh, R1 may be a possible resistance, so we may bounce off. We don't do anything because the blue MACD on the lot is of the wrong color. It's going up. S so essentially, essentially, uh, Gerald Appel's creation of the MACD is, is what we've been calling the Sangha trading oscillators. And representing the difference of the MACD as a line was truly the secret because you can see the market cycles. Um, the market loves to go sideways along the zero. The zero is the, f is the fair value that's the fair value. If price was to go up, as we saw here, then you get into the overbought region. And then once you're in the overbought region, you will go back towards fair value. And now we need to probably go down into the oversold region, but we don't want to. We, we tried to go down to the oversold, but we went back to fair value. Now, if all these lines converge here as we break up through the zero, that's going to be powerful and it's time for us to go take a long. But not right now because the blue MACD on the lot is still in the danger zone. So the possibility for taking a long is coming up. The blue MACD on the V lot tells us we can. Uh, the, the yellow dash cross through the zero 
we're outside of the danger zone so if we break through this price level um, I go take the long and that would be like the bounce off this R1 resistance and we will continue on the upside of the price action but that may not come to fruition because we need to create a down cycle we've been in an up cycle we need to create a down cycle so what may happen is the black and white dash would just bounce off the zero here and we would continue down and if that's the case we need to put a sell trap and our sell trap is going to be below R1 right here uh, as as all those lines cross as the price action crosses down through the zero hot which is this thick orange line that's the hot that's the uh, 40 40 MA coming from the hot chart so there we go um, as you noted we use buy stops and sell stops and flatten we don't have the trade window up this is how we get in and out of our positions by right clicking on the chart and by making sure that we have chart trade mode on and of course you would have properly set up your uh, trade window so that you only do one contract and you have your trail stop and you may have a target but you don't need to have that target so let me get rid of that trade window because we don't trade with the trade window So we're getting close to being tripped into our buy, but not yet. As we wait for us to break out of the danger zone with the MACD blue. Because we could just go back sideways again. So why we wait we need to break we need to break this trap at 1.12770 for us to be in a position and as you can see here the blue MACD is below the zero so this is no time to go do a buy so that's basically it um, we know our market cycles because of the MACD on the lot chart we know how to time our entries and or exits because of the blue MACD on the VLOT chart. And we don't take a position unless the blue MACD on the LOT chart breaks out of the danger zone. Like in this example here on British Pound, it would have been great to have taken a position at 11.22 for that long because the price action broke through the, the um, danger zone of the VLOT, the green and red lines here. And at that time, you had your blue VLOT on the, uh, down here um, going up above the danger zone. So we would have stayed in there, stayed in there, and taken your profit right here at the crossing, or just continue to stay in there and take profit as we touch the blue MACD on the lot touches the zero. And, and as you can see the yellow dash goes down on the black white dash but in truth the black and white dash is telling us we're still in a long this is not the primary peak this is the primary peak so we could have held on until that primary peak was created and um, and now we would be out of it and we wouldn't take any contractions we wouldn't take a position for a short nor will we take any more positions for a long because we're in the overbought region for British Pound. Yes, we may continue on up and, uh, and essentially the primary peak has not been created, create a new primary peak. You know, that may happen. But for us, we, we secure our profit and, um, and wait for the next cycle. Now let's look at the Swiss franc here. On the Swiss franc, when you see the price bounce off the zero here, 
bouncing off of the 40, mm, 40 moving average from the hot chart, yeah, that's the opportunity for us to take a short. But we could not have taken a short until we got out of the danger zone, especially danger zone the hot here. And that is an exam uh, exemplified by, by um, the blue MACD bouncing off that zero. And um, this was not the primary valley. This is now creating the primary valley. And at this time, we would be out as the price action goes sideways out of that short. So how do we qualify the, taking this short? We would have qualified it because at that point in time where we placed the cursor, we would have taken that short right about here. The blue MACD and the VLOT was below the zero. And we would stay in that short until the blue until um until the primary valley has been created we wouldn't get out until right here as the price action goes sideways that will be our first instance of going out right here or stay in until right here as the price action crosses up onto the black and white on the VLOT so practice 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 bottom line is that the MACD tells you how the market is dancing so right now as the primary valley may have been created we don't take any more contractions when the lines go towards the zero we don't take any more expansions we're done this sprint down was what we have, would have taken and now we stay out of the market. There are many opportunities for the sprints to be taken and that's all we're waiting for for the sprints to take the sprints because we don't do contractions with our current trading plan. And as you can see here the euro is still um, pretty much going sideways didn't break any of our traps so we stay with it. This is uh, market is still just plain slowly going going up. Um, nothing for us to do, as long as the MACD remains, the blue MACD here remains in the danger zones. There is nothing for us to do, and as well as here, we're in the overbought region of the British pound. Sorry, overbought region of the British pound. Nothing to do. Here, we're in the oversold region of the Swiss franc nothing to do before we can do anything the um, yellow dash needs to get closer to the danger zone needs to get closer to the danger zone and here everybody's in the danger zone so we're just wait, waiting for the breakout whether to the upside or to the downside with all the lines crossing down through or crossing up through the zero and that's going to be a powerful move well, that's the end of this video. It describes how you would use these two charts. We, our main trading chart is the lot chart looking at the MACD. And we confirm our entries and exits on the VLOT chart looking at the blue MACD down here as it crosses the, through the zero. In, because you would take the long through here as we're above the zero and exit right there as the blue MACD goes the opposite way through zero. Yes, you could take the short and then you'd be exiting right here as it goes back up to the zero. And then you'd take that long and exit. Take that short and exit at the color change if you like. But really you would exit as the blue MACD crosses back up through the zero. So if you're quick enough, you could just trade the crossings of the blue MACD on the VLOT. If you're quick enough. That's one thing to practice. Here it'd be tough to practice because it just keeps going up, down, up, down, up, down. But you could say that, oh, uh, it's staying mostly above the zero, so you stay in and don't get out until it goes below the zero, the blue MACD. So yes, you could trade with the VLOT using the blue MACD.
and the zero cross. But I would rather trade with a lot using the blue MACD and the yellow MACD going out of the danger zone and exiting once the blue MACD crosses down through the zero. Or if you're extra nervous as the blue MACD crosses the dash black and white, get out. So many blessings. Take care. 20 minutes.